Okay. Hey guys, Rhino Bones here with MDJ2K7. And we have a very special episode today. Um, he got a MRE for his birthday from foreignmre.com, and we're going to open that up. He also got two very excellent cakes and a uh, t shirt. Got those cakes from Marilyn at annandallen.com. Oh my gosh, the cake was just some of the best stuff we've ever had. Uh, didn't even last a day. All gone. So. Thank you so much for that. She also sent us a foreign MRE box. So we've got two of those to look at today. So I'm going to start by opening my package here. And then we're going to taste test on his. Mine will be a different video. He'll still be here. Yeah. I don't know what it is. Sticker mule. It's got tape on it. It's a small box. Should I open this right now, or should I save it for a real unboxing just, video? Just open it. Just open it, okay. It's a mug. From foreignmre.com. Why don't we use that in our video? Might as well. All right, got a letter from Art and Nina on 4819. Rhino, this ration mugs are gifts from Maryland Skull. Hopes you enjoys. Enjoy trying the ration that's in date. And I definitely will. So thank you, Art and Nina. Thank you, Marilyn. I am totally looking forward to it. And the ration that's in here is oh, super heavy. What do you say, Whoa. son? Where's it from? Um. You guys take a peek at that. Who has Cyrillic writing? I, We've yeah. got a Russian MRE. <laughs> so that's going to be super awesome. It's awfully big and hefty. Is that a 24 hour? I don't know. I'm going to have to uh, decipher some of these numerals on here and see what this is. Super excited to look this up. My gosh, the ingredients list on here, or the contents list on here is massive. So yeah, I'm definitely thinking this is a 12 hour or a 24 hour ration. We'll be doing a whole video on this one all by itself. In the meantime, let's take a look at what you got from foreignmre.com. We got ammo box. So he got foreign MRE on it. He got one of the foreignmre.com ammo crates. Contents inside have not been opened yet. Let's do that over there. Let's take a look inside here. I'm actually really excited to see this. It is a real ammo tin. Got foreignmre.com stamped on the side with some yellow paint. Very cool. It's going to look great on a shelf. My shelf. Oh, man, you are so lucky. It's your birthday. Otherwise, I'd be keeping this one. Ziploc baggies, bane of my existence. Do you know what this is? A special spoon. Close. Spork. I believe this is the officially branded foreignmre.com super spork. Ooh. Very cool. Take a peek at that. Nice. Well, there you go, son. We're probably going to want to clean that up before you use it, but looks cool to me. Yeah. We've got our foreignmre.com stickers, and I will be placing these all over the place. You can have your little pouch. And we have, ooh, another one with Cyrillic writing on it. Is it another Russia? Could be. Let me go wash my spoon. All right, will you bring mine in too? Yes. Yes, indeed we do. So there's the small ammo crate there from foreignmre.com. It has one ration inside, the spork, and a bunch of stickers. My son also got a t-shirt out of it. So that's super awesome. Thank you very much, Art and Nina. I look forward to getting some more stuff from you guys in the future. Very cool. All right, we've got our sporks and we are ready to go. Let's open this bad boy up and see what we got. Oh. Oh, 
<laughs> ah, happy birthday, son. It's open. <laughs> oh, probably not. Oh, the. Oh. Whew. That smell. That's a smell. <laughs> Goodness me. Oh, so sticky. So as you can see, the package uh, did not survive transport. Woo! And it smells like really, really fine rotten pepperoni. Wonder what that could be. Let's see what we can salvage. Oh my goodness. What was it that spewed out everywhere? I don't know. Oof. Got that. Looks like we got some, oh cool, fire starting tablets and the little stove. We might have to take this one outside. Whew, what in the world? Aha! Ugh. <laughs> Whew. All right, so uh, looks like the salt and pepper, not surviving. We got some apple jelly. Oh. We're going to have to clean all of this stuff up and hope that there's... So oh. That did not survive. I'm not sure what this was. It feels like that might be a heating element or something. I'm not sure. Oof. Looks like we got some coffee. We got another paper packet here. Feels like moist towelettes. Oh my goodness. Oh, the main course has been open for who knows how long. <laughs> Shall we take a peek? Yeah. Oh, golly. That is rank. Let's see what would have been, would have been in here. Oh my gosh. Well, it has certainly shrunk in size through the process of dehydration. Some sort of meat and looks like some cabbage or potato. Yeah, that's potato. Wow. Man, that's a shame because golly, I bet. Ooh, oh, I shouldn't have opened it. <laughs> oh, get a, get a whiff of that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. We're going to clean this stuff up. And hopefully there will be some, some salvageable material in here. We got a couple of packs of crackers here that look pretty good. Yeah, I think we can clean this up. Oh my. Let's see what we got over on this. Looks like we've got our uh, little paper that's going to collect the moisture. <laughs> oh man. <sighs> Wish I could read this. I know there's a translate app on my phone that I can check out. Oh gosh, I don't think it'll be able to translate this when it's soaked all the way through. Whew! This room is gonna stink for a month. <laughs> all right. <coughs> <laughs> oh, we're gonna clean this stuff up and throw this in the dumpster. And we will get right back with you. My hands are nasty, son. You're going to have to turn off the camera. <laughs> oh, I'm crying. Oh, gosh. <laughs> the red button near the top right there. In the meantime, I'm going to eat this uh, Cran Raspberry First Strike Bar. I've been looking forward to this one for a while. I've never had one before. I had an apple one a while back. Whew. The smell in here is atrocious. Oh, golly. It's going to take a while to air out, so let's open this thing up and hope for the best. Very red. It's purty. It's a little bit tacky. It's got the uh, cereal bits in it. Man, the smell is wonderful. This is going to be a great breakfast. <clears throat> oh yeah. It's a slightly different texture than the apple one. 
It's a little more stiff. It's a lot like a now and later. No, not an hour later. It's like if you take 500 fruit by the foot and compress them into one bar. That is exactly what this would taste like. The, pa the flavor is very overwhelming. But it's pretty good, especially if you're into that sort of thing. Myself, I am not a fan of fruit roll-ups. So the apple definitely takes precedence over this. Hopefully I get a mocha one pretty soon. Oh, it still smells bad in here. You just heard MDJ2K7 walk back into the room. Instantly gagged. Here, let me have a bite of that. Thank you. I know I've read it, but I was still expecting a cherry flavor because it's cold. Alright, so our salvageable materials here. Looks like we got some crackers that are in okay condition. We got the apple stuff. Coffee, flame, uh, not flameless, flame heater with our little oven thing. Can't wait to try this thing out. That's going to be a lot of fun. And an unknown potted something. All right, so since the, my son brought all this stuff back in here, I'm going to go ahead and get all the lights turned back on so we have a little bit better viewing. And I'm going to get this out on a tray. It smells so bad in here. It does. It smells like diarrhea and vomit at the same time all right hopefully hopefully the smell and everything didn't permeate the food uh yeah let's let's pour this in there oh i can smell it on my hands just touching this stuff you didn't clean this too well son i used lots of soap you saw me put way too much soap on some of that stuff Oh, it's tea. Cool. Ooh. All right, so we got some tea here. I'll let it sit, and hopefully it'll come out pretty good. Let's open up this little tin here and see what we got. Oh. Oh. You know, I just don't know what in the world that could possibly be. It's got a very savory smell. I was expecting it to be maybe some fruit. Because it also has a fruity type smell. I don't see any discoloration along the edges here. And it seems to be the seal was intact. Is that buttery and garlicky potato? I just don't know. Maybe a sweet potato. Let's see. Let's open up some of these crackers. No, that's definitely not sweet potato. Some thick stout potatoes, or not potatoes, some thick stout crackers there. Oh, oh, they smell so much like that nastiness. I think the, uh, the meat and potatoes tin kind of permeated everything. Oh. The odor coming off of those crackers. Take a look there. Nice and thick. Ooh, the smell. Here, you eat one. I'll try this one. Oh. Very different texture than what I was expecting. It's almost bread-like. Well, crouton-like. It's like a crouton. Tastes like a crouton, too. Not very much salt. It's very basic cracker. It's just really thick. Oh, and that one, that little, oh. That tasted like the smell. Oh, huh. all right. So this one's ruined for me. <laughs> Let's try for this one. I'm gonna dip it in whatever that is, and oh, uh, so moist. It's very much like baby food, like squash, except it's got a definite garlic odor.
Take a look at that. I I think it's mashed potatoes. It's got garlic and butter t flavor to or smell to it. Garlic and butter smell. It does. All right. MDJ 2K7's got some also. Are you ready? Ooh. Ooh. Tastes like baby food. <coughs> That's not bad. It's actually pretty tasty. Definitely serviceable. The uh, other part of the food didn't get mixed in with this, so that's good. There's almost uh, tomato flavor in that as well. That ain't bad. Totally different. I've never had anything that tastes like this before. It is definitely the texture and consistency of baby food. I think it might be squash. I don't think it's potatoes, but it's definitely got lots of garlic and lots of butter. I kind of like it. That's not bad at all. Hmm. Cool. You didn't like it? No, I tapped into my tongue and I couldn't bear it anymore. It has like the weirdest flavor. Well, there you go. He got a tongue tap out of it. Looks like our tea is pretty close to finishing up there. Let's try the so-called apple butter. Yeah, I'm going to open up another pack of these. Maybe these ones are slightly different, or maybe they didn't collect as much of the stink of the other stuff. Oh, no. No, these ones... Same type of cracker. They definitely stink like the others. But I'm going to put some of this apple stuff on it. Man, even this. It's got a vague smell of the spoiled food. Looks okay. It's got some bubbles in it. I think that's okay. Yeah, just apple butter. Alright, time for some sweet. Down the hatch. You know, it's not as sweet as I was expecting. It's a very, very subtle apple flavor. Definitely the crackers are the weak point here. Gosh, I'm gonna have some more. Son, are you going to try any of this stuff? No. You're just going to have to scoot in here and grab it. Yeah, that's really nice. I like that a lot. Very cool. Such a good flavor. So Goober over here is putting it on that first strike bar. Oh my gosh, that's really good. It's so good and sweet. Man, I think I'm going to finish this stuff off. Now this is a breakfast. That's very good. Perfect. Come on. Dip this tea a little more and give it a taste. It's almost a apple flavored tea. I'm not sure if it's just because of this or... Here, let me try some. It's a very weak flavored tea. I'm not sure what the flavor is behind it, but it's kind of fruity. So there you have it. Our first foreign MRE.com MRE was not a total disaster. I am kind of sad that the main there was crushed, but you know what? What are you going to do? Sometimes that happens. I don't hold it against anybody. And it made for hopefully a pretty entertaining video. So there you have it. We've got some awesome apple butter. We got some squash of some sort. And gosh, this stuff's not bad. So if you enjoyed watching me eat some really Odorif odiferous food here. Uh, give us a like and subscribe and stay tuned for more. I've got a huge box over there to try out. And gosh, I just got a package with a whole bunch of toys in it. So lots coming around the corner. See you later, guys. Bye. I still can't get past the smell in here. Oh yeah, it totally smells like barf. I don't think this room is ever going to be the same. This room is barftacular. Tea does smell good. It has a heat radiating off of it, but it's still cold. I don't think that's a heat radiating off of it. I think that's probably the souls of lost children. You ready? It's been a while. Yep, it has. Hey guys, MDJ2K7 and...
do that. Do it the normal way. 